Kat Lane here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing the DC Collectibles Suicide Squad Joker. Yeah. And this particular statue is sculpted by Adam Mersano. Thanks to SciFiToys.com.au for lending me this figure. If you want to see all the other cool stuff, their website will be linked down below. They specialize in 1-6 scale hot toys and other, other cool stuff. And let's open this box. Um, so here is Joker out of the box and like the other figures, they come with a base um, shaped as a dog tag and it's got Suicide Squad on it. And on his left foot, there is a peg that slips into the dog tag base. And there you have him. Joker at first glance looks very plain compared to the other DC collectible statues. If you look at him, he's pretty much naked with giving up on life after the asylum pants. He doesn't even have shoes on. He's got like a purple glove. But he's pretty much naked. Um, because Joker doesn't really have any accessories or much clothing to show off detail and texture, they really focus on his tattoos as the main feature of this figure. The tattoos he has on are machine printed, which I think is great because it's a lot more detailed, like the lines are crisp, everything's just spot on. So let's do a tattoo count. And at the bottom of his belly, um, he's got a massive smile that looks like it's just like scribbled on. Above that on his abdomen is Joker, where Thug Life should be. On his right rib, the same kind of texture on here, like it looks like it's been like sketched on. It says God's only child. A bit cocky, don't you think? And on his right, <laughs> I forget which one my left or right is. On the right chest, he has a skull with a jester hat. So that could be like a jester that's dead. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. Um, and on his left, it just says, ha 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 That's it. And above that, it says all in and he's got four aces. On his right bicep, there is a picture of a bird a robin with an arrow. Actually, before I continue with the rest of the tattoos, I have to just say this. I know a few people on social media and they're reading up like all these these reviews and like fan theory stuff saying like, oh my god, there's an arrow in this bird. It's Robin. That means he killed Robin. It's like, no Sherlock, he did. If you've actually read the comics, you would know that he did kill Robin. Even if you watch the animated movie Red Hood, <laughs> he killed Robin in that too. So it's not really a fan theory, guys. It's the facts. <laughs> he did kill Robin. <laughs> um, so I had to just express that because every time I read, oh my God, Joker killed Robin, guys. It's like not even news. Like, I don't even know. But back to the statue. <laughs> On the left bicep, people ignore that. And it's actually a Batman symbol with a dagger through it. So it could just be like hating on the freaking Batman family, okay? People are just too much sometimes. And sometimes you just gotta open a comic book and have a good read, you know? It's better than making up sh Moving on to the rest of the tattoos. Um, his right forearm, he's got the big Joker smile. And on his left forearm, it's just more ha-ha-has. <laughs> On his face, he's got a star, just an outline of a star. He's got a J on the bottom of his um, left eye and damage across his forehead. Speaking of his face, he's supposed to have like grills on, but he just looks like he has dirty teeth. <laughs> like, it looks like he ate one of Penguin's fishes and has like black teeth. Um, besides that, it really captures Jared Leto's Joker, and if you look at his mouth, you can actually see his tongue. That's pretty cool. Looking at his hair, um, it's just, I don't know, like, it's got hair textures, like, from the moulding of the statue, but they just painted it on. Like, there's no, it's, it's really flat. It's just a flat green over some textured, textured moulding. 
but that's it. And moving on to the rest of the tattoos. Looking at his back on his left rear shoulder, um, he's got a picture of a joker dancing with like magic sparkles coming out of his hands and like an axe or a hammer. And on his back is a picture of a cool dragon. So that's all the tattoos done and it's a total of 16 tattoos. Looking at the rest of Joker, they've given him a really pale skin and they've given him a nice wash on all the different textures on his body, which is good. It, it really makes the muscle um, and like the ribs pop out instead of it just being flat, so it's added definition. Now let's move on to his pants. I really like the wrinkles on the waist, like a little elastic texture. And it's got Arkham on his left leg. And again, that Arkham is machine printed. And his feet are just feet. They've got, he's got some dirty toes, but that's about it. <laughs> um, even though the Joker is plain, um, there is still quite a lot of detailing on his like tattoos. He is posed really well, he's got a great expression on his face and it will definitely make a great addition to the Suicide Squad if you have a Suicide Squad collection. And that's all guys, I hope you liked this review. Um, if you were interested in the statue, don't forget to go to scifitoys.com.au, the link is down below. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, subscribe and join the Clutter Crew. If you want to connect with me on social media, all the links will be down below also. Till next time guys, see you later.